Welcome to your reading Taurus for October 18th through 24 here at Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. In this channel, we like to uh, talk about, oh, did you see my dog cougar? <laughs> anyway, uh, we like to talk about uh, healing and hope in your spiritual journey for this week. So as we look at the energies of this week, we'll be uh, especially looking at your uh, spiritual journey for this time. So uh, Taurus, let's begin by asking for guidance. You can join me. Okay, so I would like to begin with uh, the uh, Oracle cards. Um, Colette Baron Reed did the great um, cards on a spiritual the animal spirits so you can take a look at those um also all the uh, cards that i use are in um <clears throat> the bottom of the uh down in the description down below okay so let's take a look here Okay, so for the first animal, this is great. I love the dolphin. So this is the dolphin. Uh, it's a 20, so the two, so moving forward. And the dolphin says, this and that are true. So the fascinating thing about the dolphin spirit, um, not only does it talk about uh, play and, you know, all kinds of... Um, happiness and joy and you can see the beautiful flower with the little sparkles coming out of it but it also is both a mammal and it lives in water it uh, breathes air and it lives in water so it doesn't have gills it's, it's a mammal um, it has its babies instead of laying eggs so it's kind of interesting because even though it's a a water creature it's also a um, a mammal which we think of more as land creatures so this and that are true so this week uh taurus you'll be faced with some times in your life where you'll be like you know um i think that i can't quite you know i have more than one perspective to see something and that's okay you can look at things in different ways. I know like um, I have some friends who they talk a lot about the concept of um, good and evil. And um, it's very, it's, it's very striking to them, this concept of evil and uh, that there's evil in the world. And then other times I hear like from Abraham Hicks, the concept that there's light, and when we have the lack of light, we have darkness. And so um, evil is really just darkness. It's the other side of, of light. So when light is gone, then we have darkness. So if we bring light back into something, it becomes good. You know, uh, the darkness goes away. And so we can look at things in different perspectives. And I was listening to a, a podcast a discussion on life today, and she was talking about, you know, we have beliefs and it's fine to have beliefs, but if we believe that our belief is the only one that's right, that's when our beliefs get kind of crazy. And so we want to, um, not only have our beliefs but also be willing to accept that maybe there's something about our belief that's a little wrong and that we may learn more as we grow older as we learn more so the second card is the squirrel the squirrel spirit says believe in yourself and the squirrel comes to you and with these uh, great seeds and acorns 
it um, spends, you know, all summer collecting things and hiding them away for the winter. And it actually plants a lot of seeds. So some of them it harvests later for food and some of them grow into other trees and crops. So you have in your life at this point done a lot of planting and believe in yourself. The things that you need are planted. They are there that you can still find them. So, and then it can also be kind of the this and that is true. So when the squirrel finds the nut and it hides it, it may find it or it may not. <laughs> so we never, we never know what's going to happen. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, chakra. So I love these, uh, the chakra deck. And so let's look at which chakra should you focus on this week, um, Taurus, and your energies for this week. Okay. So I like to put um, Reiki energy in the deck and then um, to have it help guide us in our in our um, quest for which card is the right card for today. And it is the heart chakra and it's the love card, which is an 18, which is adds up to nine. And nine is coming to the end of something. So 10 is kind of like you, 10 is one in, in numerology. So 10 is one plus zero, which is one. So nine is the last number. So the ultimate is love. And so that's what this, this card is saying. And also just showing that this, this particular time, we want to be looking at uh, the heart chakra. So you'll be meditating um, on the color green. What does the color green feel like to you? And so you can meditate using the sounds of the heart chakra levels. Uh, I think it's in the 400s usually. And uh, so you listen in the 400 range, you're in meditation, and things will come to you, especially in relation to your beliefs, both believing in yourself and what beliefs do you carry that maybe can be augmented or grow or change in your life. There's so many faulty beliefs that we have, especially around love. So, you know, you can think, well, you know, when I was young myself, when I was young, I just was sure that if I got married, everything would be solved. You know, all the things I felt. Well, now I know that I think for some reason I just didn't feel unconditionally loved. And uh, so that can come from a lot of, of sources and a lot of reasons. But if you feel that way as a child, you might get this faulty belief that if you just got married and you, then you would have unconditional love, except that that may not be true at all. It may be even more conditional than you went through before. So I think those kind of beliefs are the things that will come to you as you are in meditation and prayer. So let's take a look at uh, the messages from the tarot for us for this week for our life path and our journey to um, hope and healing. Here on this channel, I especially want to help people come to a recognition of the, the hope that they can find in their lives. I know that's certainly something that I have been discovering and it has been a real blessing. So the first card in the center of the situation is the Queen of Swords. So she always sits there with a lot of uh, power and authority and she's right. <laughs> um, she also is an air sign. So in Taurus, we have here in your uh, foundation is the uh, page of pentacles i think it's my favorite page the uh the four of swords is what will benefit you and help you this week and then the ace of cups is in your um the crowning you 
and the nine of pentacles is your outcome that's a great outcome to have to have your foundation be the page of pentacles and the uh the nine of pentacles be the outcome so the underneath of the deck which usually is a message that your higher self or your um your subconscious is wanting to tell you starts with the uh, knight of swords the sun the king of cups you know the next one is the ace of wands so i'm going to pull that too because we already have the ace of cups so we have a couple of aces now so a couple of beginnings um moving forward into something new in the week so um it may be some new understandings in relationship to uh, love and what it means so definitely spend the time on the heart chakra remember the heart has you know it's the thing that has to beat and then where the heart chakra is here it's also right where the lungs are and the lungs you know we need to be able to breathe so breathing beating all parts of keeping us alive okay so um the uh, central situation well let's look at the uh, message from the uh, subconscious kind of first so it's saying that things are going to happen a little quicker this week than you might have expected and as they move forward um, you really have the potential to move into a lot of happiness and also maybe an understanding of your um, your childhood and some things from from your childhood and things that, that might affect you that way especially things that were in relation to your emotions so you may have some things that will come to pass that you'll understand better about your emotions when you were a child and all of this will really help you move into a new a uh, new passion so you know your passion may even be to help other people with their um you know their their uh traumas from their childhood um you might have a passion to um help people with uh you know just you know on a physical level as well with uh you know maybe congenital problems or things from their birth so i think that um this week you will begin to um, understand a little bit more clearly to us what um, what has happened to you in the past in uh, trauma and how you can move forward and help other people with that okay and this is a general reading so it will not apply to everyone that message is probably a little more specific for some of you please comment below um if anything resonates for you today so we can um you know understand uh what the messages that are being given to us so the queen the queen of swords is the situation so i think that this week you may come into uh come into someone in your life that is an air sign that you will meet and kind of understand better um, some things. They're going to bring some truth into your life. It may not be very pleasant the way that it's done, especially right now with Mercury in retrograde. Um, there's a lot of miscommunication happening. So you can take a look at the video that I did about uh, tarot reading for mercury and mars in retrograde um starting on the 13th for mercury and it's already been that way for mars so mars in retrograde you know both of retrogrades kind of make you think about things in the past which is kind of what we're talking about the past you know the squirrel of the past has put the seeds in you know and it's finding them now to eat you know the so we're, we're kind of looking you know we're talking about the past and the childhood stuff and so um so the retrogrades you know you kind of are looking at um the other the other side or the other way of looking at things 
So at the same time, when Mars is in retrograde, it's really easy to get kind of testy and upset once in a while. I know that has kind of like, ah, once in a while you're like, so don't take things too seriously when other people may say something that you don't like. And then with Mercury and retrograde at the same time, where all communication is kind of haywire, whether it's, uh, it can be even internet, it can be your car, because our cars are all computers now too. So anything like that, uh, so you can um, take a look at that uh, tarot reading. And it was kind of an interesting uh, take on things. So the uh, Queen of Swords, is, I think, is going to be somebody that comes into your life that's a little bit difficult. So, so far um, in the extended, we'll be looking at Leo for the sun. And then we'll look at this air sign person. So we won't look at a specific zodiac, but more we'll look at that person and see some more stuff about them. So the, uh, the Page of Pentacles is in your uh, foundation. So they're here, you know, so you're being supported by potentially a message about abundance. And that's the, the outcome is really moving into a higher level of abundance. And the thing that will benefit you is this meditation that we're talking about. So meditating this week on the heart chakra, on green, wearing green, uh, thinking green, listening to things about the heart and love uh, will really help you. And this too is love overflowing in your life. And so it can be a somebody coming to you and offering a new love or the love that you have growing and expanding. But um, I kind of feel like a lot of this week is going to be your own internal work. Believe in yourself and learning how to believe in yourself better in these things. Okay, so um, what I would, what I would uh, like to do is take a look at the underneath of the deck so for the chakra, the underneath is actually the, um, the earth, earth, uh, earth star chakra. It's a rebirth. You can see the beautiful butterfly there coming and being reborn. And uh, it's the chakra that's six inches below your feet. So it's a real grounding. And so it's asking you, and it's interesting, the rebirth that you think of grounding as the family of origin and uh, in this chakra it's a lot about the family of origin and that's what we've been talking about is uh, looking at that excuse me my eyelash decided to do something and then I wanted to see the underneath for the animal deck as well and that's the cat claim your independence so I really I do I feel that this week is going to be a lot about you and that even the love is going to be love in your own heart, your own understanding of yourself, believing in yourself, flowing into you. And there will be somebody that comes that's kind of like a little cantankerous. And, but spending this time in meditation and prayer will really, really help you a lot. Okay, so um, thank you so much for coming to this reading. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video and share and hit the notification bell uh, if you'd like to hear um, other readings every week. And uh, Taurus, I'll see you over at the extended. The link is below.